been about five years since I made the original video for the stores at Aura Condominium. And since then I've had a number of people send me emails asking me to update it and asking me what's going on there. When I filmed it, the shopping center was about a year old and there wasn't much going on. It was a really dead mall. That's why I put it in my ghetto mall series. And I haven't been there for a long time. So let's go inside, take another look five years after the last video and see if anything's changed. Now the thing about this mall is that it's not structured like other shopping malls. Usually when condo developers build condos, they keep the shopping portion separate and they sell it to like a retail leasing company. So they're, they're all leased, all the stores are leased out um, by one company. These were developed as condominiums. So each store is sold to a separate owner and the owners here have to rent them out on their own. So the thing is, it's not like it can all be redeveloped or turned into one huge, uh, like one big store because they're all owned individually. So it's very hard to coordinate things, I would imagine, since each store is uh, separately owned. And from what I remember reading a while ago is that a lot of the stores are owned by foreign investors. Now, some of them bought it without the intention of even leasing the stores. They just, a lot of them are from China. They just wanted to get their money out of China and they don't care if the store is leased. They just want their money out of China and uh, they're eventually, I guess, going to sell it. But I guess there are other people that bought stores thinking that they'd be able to rent them out. And as you can see, it looks like a lot of the stores are still not rented out. And even the ones that were, had very little business. There wasn't a whole lot going on. Now when I was there before, I remember the last time I was in there, the food court only had one or two stalls open, but you'll see the food court later on, more the more the, um, the retail, the restaurant retail has opened up. So I don't know if things are getting better, but it's a little bit better than when I first went there five years ago but you'd think in five years it would be in a lot better shape. This is a really basic mall. You can tell when the developer built this they did not put too much thought or effort into making it a decent mall. Quality of the materials is not, is not very nice. The design is really really cheaply done. Very basic and uh, I don't know how you would improve this mall I guess you could possibly buy five or six uh, of the retail outlets and put them together for bigger stores but right now nobody's done that they're all just these tiny little uh, retail establishments but there's not a whole lot going on as you can see now later on in this video I go upstairs to the bigger stores there are some full-size stores like Marshalls and um, there's like a Bed Bath & Beyond I think it is or one of those kinds of stores on the second floor I think it was. So you'll, you'll see a little bit of that later on in the video after I take a tour of this very dead ghetto mall. Not too many people are making profit from this place I would, I would imagine. Okay, enjoy the tour of shops at Aura. Another one of Toronto's ghetto malls.
20 minutes. Okay, that's fine. 20 minutes? Maybe. Like 20 minutes.